iOS 16 brings some really cool features, like the ability to customize your lock screen, as well as the ability to unsend iMessages. They are really cool, but here are 10 cool and important features of iOS 16 nobody seems to be talking about. I'm Desi, and let's get right into it. I ran up a check, I might do it again. The first thing you can do is turn on haptic feedback when typing. We had this in the past, but Apple took it away, and it's now back. To do this, go to settings, sounds and haptic, keyboard feedback, and turn on haptic within keyboards. If you usually send emails from your mobile device, you can now unsend emails within a certain period of time after they have been sent out. To do this, go to settings, mails, scroll down to the bottom and tap on undo send delay and increase it to 30 seconds. Now, anytime you send out an email, you have 30 seconds to be able to delete the message from it being sent to the recipient. You can now pin tabs in Safari. A lot of people have been waiting for this feature and it's finally here. To do this, open Safari, tap the tabs menu, long press on the open tab you want to pin and there you have it, pin tab. Tap on it and your tab gets pinned within Safari. If you're enjoying these tips, a sub to the channel would be amazing. There is now an adjust location setting within pictures. To adjust the location, tap the picture, tap the three dots at the top right corner and you'll see the adjust location setting right there. Also within photos, you can now identify duplicated pictures and delete the one you do not need. To do this open photos, scroll down to the very bottom, you see duplicates there and from there you can identify the photos that have been duplicated. You can either merge them into one or delete one. There's a new audio message button within iMessage. It's found next to the App Store button. You can tap on it and begin recording your voice message you want to send out to someone you're chatting with on iMessage. There's a new lockdown mode for your iPhone. Apple says this is an extreme and optional protection that should be used only if you believe you may be personally targeted by highly sophisticated cyber attacks. What this does is it places your phone in a lockdown mode where things such as your pictures and your details cannot be accessed by anybody trying to hack you. It can be found within settings, privacy and security, and at the bottom you see lockdown mode. There's also a new safety check menu within privacy and security. This is for situations where you do not feel you trust certain people or certain apps you're connected and you need to log out or disconnect yourself from them immediately. To do this, just go to settings, privacy and security, safety check and you see it down there. There's an emergency reset menu as well as managing the sharing and access of your device with other people. Within contacts, there's an option to import SIM card contact from the SIM card onto your device. So if you have contacts saved on your SIM card, you can now import them onto your device directly from the contacts menu of your iPhone. You can now see the password of any Wi-Fi you're connected to. To do this, go to settings, Wi-Fi, tap the eye beside the Wi-Fi you're connected to, tap the password, and you'll be required to use your face ID or your fingerprint for the password to be displayed to you. If you found any of these tips useful, kindly subscribe to my channel, leave a like on this video, leave a comment, I'd appreciate any of them, and share this video to anyone who may find it useful. I'm Desi, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.